Today we will go over yet another classification that you could be pimped on while on rotation. The Freichmann classification for distal radius fractures characterizes the fractures based on joint and ulnar styloid involvement. There are eight types within this classification. The nice thing about the organization of this classification is that each even number is the previous fracture plus an ulnar styloid fracture. But let's go ahead and go over each and you will see what I mean. Starting with type 1 and 2, type 1 involves a type A or extra articular fracture of the distal radius. This one would include a Coley's or Smith's fracture. And then type 2 is simply a type 1 plus an ulnar styloid fracture. Type 3 involves a fracture that includes the articular surface, namely involvement of the radiocarpal joint. Type 3 can include the Barton or Chauffeur fractures. Then type 4 is simply a type 3 fracture plus an ulnar styloid fracture. Type 5 involves a fracture line that extends to involve the DRUJ. And type 6 is a type 5 plus an ulnar styloid. Finally, a type 7 is essentially a combination of type 3 and 5, as it involves fracture lines to both the radiocarpal and radial ulnar joints. And type 8 is again a type 7 plus an ulnar styloid. So I would be familiar with the Freichmann classification as you can use it in your x-ray reads with the team or when communicating your findings in clinic. Alrighty, I'll see y'all in the next one.